Woo! This is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals, the OG in the house, the Ric Flair of crypto, coming to you live, live, live from Asia. This is our evening update, guys. We got a huge, huge video for you. Woo! Let's get it, guys. And today we're going to talk about a whole ton of stuff. We're going to talk about Vitalik. He's he's gone out and he's told everyone that he expects that uh, Ethereum to hit thirty thousand dollars by the end of the year. Wow, that's mind blowing. We're going to talk about Wells Fargo. They have a new uh, fund that's coming out. This is going to take the markets higher and higher. Woo! And we're going to talk about the Doge Doge Coin Pump It Up Weekend. Something big, something huge, something outstanding, something amazing, something crazy is going to happen in 24 hours. We got the huge, big Doge Pump It Up party, and not only that, not only that, we're going to be giving away, we're going to be giving away 1,000 Ethereum tomorrow morning in our live, live Doge Coin Doge Party giveaway. We're going to be giving 1,000. Dogecoin, can you believe it? And all you got to do to be in it, to win it, is be a super member. So, if you guys are feeling the energy, if you guys are feeling the power, get ready, smash the likes, subscribe, get ready, because we've got a huge show. Dogecoin is blasting up, Bitcoin is blasting up, Ethereum is blasting up, OMG, and ADA is going to the moon, guys. I love the energy. We got absolutely Dogecoin pump it up weekend. Woo, let's get it, guys. We're seeing so much catalyst so much positive momentum we're seeing it right here let's jump in and remember remember none of this is financial advice this is just an og expressing his opinion i'm so excited because i know that tomorrow we're going to be burning higher and higher we're going to be burning so much rocket fuel tomorrow as the crypto markets go up higher and higher higher we're going to be seeing doge going up guys up we could see 35 cents coming in for doge guys let's get it so Let's, let's take a look at plan, plan B stock, stock to flow model. Right now, we can see that if we look at the stock to flow model, we should be clearing $100,000 by the end of this year. No problemo. Right now here, we're, we're slightly out of, the, uh, out of the model, but we're picking up, guys. And Dogecoin is on fire. Ethereum is on fire. Solana is on fire. ADA is on fire. Bitcoin's on fire. And the altcoin season is about to happen. It's about to come. We're going to be here. When we're going to join together. So if you look at the uh, Bitcoin rainbow chart right now, you can see that we're still in the middle of hollow phase. So you should do exactly what this chart is telling you. And what it's telling you to do is have diamond hands, hodl, remember, hodl, diamond hands, and wait for life-changing wealth. Woo! You know that you want it. You know that you need it. And all you got to do, guys, is in this business, in the cryptocurrency space, you got to do one thing only. Be patient. Be patient and don't trade with emotion. Remember, we're not talking about trading. We're talking about investing. Don't trade. Don't day trade. You'll get wrecked. And never, ever leverage trade. This is not financial advice. This is just an OG in the house expressing his opinion. Woo! And like, guys, this is also exciting. If you look here, you can see right now that we are definitely, definitely in old coin month. Let's do Give it a quick refresh, 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 refresh. The internet's super slow here in Vietnam. I don't know what's going on with it. It's so slow. So right now we're moving higher and higher into old coin month. And what that means, when we hit the old coin month, it means only one thing. All coins are going to blast off. And if you don't know it, and if you didn't know it, guess what? Dogecoin is, let me hear it, an old coin. So that means that Dogecoin is going to blast off. Blasty, wasty off. And we're moving closer and closer and closer to an old coin year. And definitely we are now in the old coin month. And that means the top 50 performing uh, coins of the last 30 days are right here, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got Luna, we got A A A AXS, we got Solana, QNT. So what does that mean? It means that once 75% 75, 75 of the old coins are outperforming Bitcoin, that means we're, that we're in the old coin month, guys. And we're going to get into old coin season soon. We're getting closer and closer and closer. We're on fire. We're getting closer. So let's jump into the let's jump into the Bitcoin without any delay. Delay, hey hey, let's do it, guys. Woo! Bitcoin is coming to us, and Bitcoin is coming to us, and we're gonna have the Bitcoin party, guys. And it's gonna be a doge, huge pump it up party. Pump it up, doge, pump it up. So right now, let me get all this messiness out of there. So right now we're seeing that the 
Bitcoin price, we're trading at uh, 47,134 dollars. 47, it keeps changing, it keeps changing. I'm blind as a bat, I'm blind as a bat. So right now, we're trading at 47,333, it keeps changing. So you can see here that uh, right now, we're having a little bit of trouble breaking past this uh, descending triangle right here but we're still in the green i think that you know once the america's open and everything goes hunky dory and you guys wake up and you get your cup of joe in the mug to mug don't forget to smash the like and subscribe and don't forget to check out my merch we got tons of merch guys and uh, we're going to see ourselves breaking out of this triangle soon and we're going to be going 50k incoming i can see i can smell fifty thousand dollars Bitcoin is incoming. I think we could hit it this weekend. We could hit it. We're gonna hit it. We're gonna do it. You know we're gonna do it. Woo! Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum is also on fire. Actually, Ethereum is actually printing a much higher higher high out of this descending triangle. That's right here, guys. It's insane. It's insane in the membrane. And right now you can see that Ethereum is trading at three thousand two hundred and twenty-one dollars. So it blow past this uh, resistance now becomes support. And now all we got to do is get up to 3,300. We gingerly, we gingerly, we almost, we almost had it. We almost had it nailed, guys. We almost had it intact. Let me move that over. Now, I hate to charge when they don't do what we're supposed to do. So we almost had it intact right now. And you can see that this is a 1.15% candle. And I think we're definitely going to be reaching $3,000, $3,300 by the weekend. And I think we can hit the all time. We can hit the high here of 3000 391 maybe we can hit 3400 i'm pretty confident that 3400 is coming in we could see it you could see it we want to see it Woo! ethereum is still on fire and you know we've we've been kind of range bound in this range for a little bit of while we we range bound yesterday to the day before and today and now and this is pumping up guys ethereum is pumping up we're definitely going to see you know we're going to talk about vitalik vitalik is saying thirty thousand dollars by december can you believe it thirty thousand dollars that means that we need a 10x from here 10 times guys Woo! let's hopefully can do it because i got a big bag of theorem and if my 1000 ethereum goes to uh ten thousand dollars you could do the math it's crazy it's crazy it's insane in the membrane let's hope we get there Woo! and some ethereum news here we go let's jump into it vitalik in the house so vitalik he is saying that he expects Ethereum to touch $30,000 by the end of year. If you guys think that's going to happen, hit the likes right now. If you guys think it's going to happen, hit a comment. Hit the OG with a comment. I mean, Vitalik. I mean, he's not some dumb dumb, right? He knows what he's talking about. He's the boy genius, you know, 27 years old, and he's like a billionaire. Okay? Okay? So I think he knows what he's talking about. So, however, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin is ultra bullish on the crypto future, especially after the recent London hard fork and the EIP 1559. That was a game changer. That was a game changer. We're burning. We're burning the Ethereum. And that's making uh, Ethereum uh, deflationary, guys. So it's really good. And we're getting closer and closer to, you know, what Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a, a, a deflationary too. It has a set uh, limit of supply. And when we get this uh, Ethereum 2.0, that's going to be doing the same thing, guys. So during his ongoing like interview, and this was just like hours ago, Buterin said that he expects ETH price to be 10x from the current levels, meaning Ethereum price could touch a massive, a massive, a mind-blowing, mind-blowing, not to the moon, not to the Mars, to Jupiter and beyond $30,000. You know what you want it. I want it. Woo! If we can see thirty thousand dollars for Ethereum, wow! I'm buying. I'm buying Lambos. I'm giving away Lambos. Come to my house, giving away Lambos. Woo! And that's amazing stuff, guys. And if we look at the Ethereum burn, the Bernie burn. Right now, we're burning sixty-seven thousand five hundred fifty-seven Ethereum. Could you imagine if you had that much Ethereum? What would it be worth? It would be worth millions and millions. Wow! I would love to get some of that. Let's take a look at the ADA in the house. So right now, today, we can see that ADA is absolutely on fire. It's just going cuckoo, cuckoo. Yesterday, it went up almost 16%. And right now, today, it's up by 2.62%. Uh, but totally, it's around about 17%. It's on fire. And right now, uh, Cardano is trading at $2.56. And we hit an all-time high today. We hit a high 
of two dollars and fifty six cents. So, wow, guys, we're almost at an all all time high again, and uh, you know we're breaking two dollars. Actually, Cardano is at two dollars and fifty cents, and we got six more cents. We're in discovery. We're in discovery mode, guys. We're going uppity up up. And you know, I read a story that uh, you know Charles Hoskinson. He's thinking and he is saying that ADA could hit ten dollars by the end of the year. Could you imagine? $10 ADA. Wow. Wow. And I bought this baby. I bought ADA. Like, I bought it months and months. I bought it eons ago when it was like down here, guys. I bought it eons ago when ADA was like here. Oh, look at that, guys. I bought it was when it was like a 20 cents, 25 cents. So I'm making, I'm making bank. Boom, 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 boom. Dollar, dollar bill everywhere, guys. ADA. I love ADA. I love it. And remember, smart contracts. The Alonzo smart contracts are going to be out September 13th. You know it. And this is not going to be a case of buy the rumor, sell the news. It's going to be buy the rumor and buy the news, guys. I think that uh, Cardano is definitely going to the moon. Woo! Going to the moon, going to Mars, going to Jupiter, and maybe even going beyond. Going to another solar system. It could be on fire. Definitely Cardano's on fire. There's no doubt about it. In my mind, Cardano is on fire. All right, let's take a look at the doge in the house. The doge, woge, woge. Let me get that uh, messiness out of there. So right now, doge is also looking pretty strong. It's at 32 cents. It's coming on back. You know, we were we were like at 30 cents and change and 31 cents. And we've been, you know, the Asians here in Asia, we've been trying to do our part. We've been trying to make it happen. We're trying to keep it keep it strong. So when you guys in America, when you guys wakey wakey, good morning Vietnam, when you guys wakey wakey, you're gonna be able to take it higher and higher. So we have our next resistance level at 35 cents, and it's really key. It's really key. It's vital that you guys help us maintain. We have this descending triangle here in the red dotted line. We guys need to stay above that. If we cannot stay above that, we're going to break down. And if we break down, we could be breaking down to 28 cents. We don't want to do that. I need it to go to 35 cents. We've got a big overhead resistance at 35 cents. You need to get it past there. I need to get it past there. Let's make it happen, guys. God bless America. you got a job to do. And that's take the green machine higher. Take Doge higher. And that's all you got to do, guys. So let's take a look at the, the Doji Woji on the four-hour chart. Get my face out of there. Get the face out of get out of there. So what we got to do right now, as you can see right now, that on the four-hour chart, we've, uh, we've successfully broken out of this uh, descending triangle. And we're going up, 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 up. But we're going a little bit sideways. So we need a little bit of a breakout. We need a little bit of a breakout. So I really want to see that going up, 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 and the up, up. And let me get my drawing tool. Let me get my drawing tool out of there. So I really let me get my face out of it. So, you know, we've been kind of going sideways. You know, you guys are in that sideways action. Then we went up. We broke past this resistance level, this descending triangle. Remember, descending triangle is bullish. Bullish, guys. And we went up. We went up. We went sideways. And now we're going to start our breakout, guys. And hopefully this will take us up to... 35 cents and take us to 35 cents. Hey, maybe we can get lucky and hit 36 cents. I told you, I did tell you by the end of this month that we could be looking at uh, 40 cents coming in. So, you know, we've still got time. We still got time to make it. We still got time to make it. Can we make it? Can we see this kind of thing going on? And then finally take it off. Maybe this is kind of going to be the pattern right now. I'm going to keep that up there so you guys can see the pattern so we can check it, check and make sure that we're doing it. And then remember, smash the likes. Hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching this in the live stream, and I know some of you are, remember, super chat me. Super chat the OG right now. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Remember, all the super chats, all the memberships, all the patrons, all the coffees, all that goes to charity. Help out. It's going to the orphans. goes to homeless here in Vietnam. And remember, we're in lockdown, serious lockdown, and it's huge, huge. We just want to help people and help people as many as we can. So, guys, do it. Super chat me. And let's take a look at the news and some really bullish news. I don't know why a lot of people are not talking about this. Wells Fargo launches passive Bitcoin fund for wealthy clients. This is this is huge, guys. I don't know why this was like not blasted out. And this is one of the reasons why Thursday we saw Bitcoin was going up. And that was because of this story broke. And it was huge, guys. So that's why we saw this. Uh, that's why we saw Bitcoin break into the upside because of this Wells, Wells Fargo news. So a source, a source familiar with told Coindesk that the new fund is a passive, a break from early reports that Wells Fargo would pitch wealthy clients, investors with actively managed offering. It's not going to be actively managed. It's going to be passively managed. And this this uh, 
Bitcoin fund. This fund is going to be uh, uh, done in partnership with NYDIG and F5 Investments are partnering with Wells Fargo and offering, according to regulatory documents, the pair have worked together on Bitcoin funds before. Wells Fargo is getting a cut of sales through the subsidiary. So what's going to happen is Wells Fargo, they take their clients, throw them at NYDIG and F5 and whatever they buy into the fund, uh, Wells Fargo gets a gets a gets a piece on the back end. So JP Morgan is also JP Morgan, Di- Jamie Dimon, the master of FUD, the king of deceit, the the sky is falling, the China FUD, it's over. Remember, he's the one one of the people that also helped crash all the crypto. So there was Jamie, there was Elon, and there was China who helped us, you know, kill the huge rocket ride that we're seeing in May and cause a big, big I call the May dump, the China dump, the China dump. And uh, JP Morgan is getting into a passive fund and who also filed with the Securities Exchange Commission and they're going, also going to be in partnership with NYDIG. So we've got two huge banks. we got JP Morgan. we got Wells Fargo. And they're going to be launching a Bitcoin fund, guys. So if this isn't telling you that there's wide mainstream adoption, that Bitcoin is definitely going to 100K, definitely going to the moon. We got two huge, huge banks, two institutions saying yes, yes, check, check, check. We love Bitcoin, woo! And some other more, some other news that's happening. Bitcoin price returns above 47K as crypto market shrugs off Binance KYC. So we had this whole KYC that Binance has said that's it immediately. Everybody on their platform needs to have KYC. That means ID, passport, proof of address. You know it. You got to do it. And I, it's scary. I'm a lot. I'm not happy. I mean, I'm using Binance. Luckily, I already KYC'd already a long time ago. But if you're new and you've been using the platform and you're not KYCing, they're going to give you a limited amount of time that you're going to have to get your. You have to cross the T's and dot the I's. Get your KYC, or else they could, you know, eh, you know, uh, limit the amount of, uh, you know, offboarding you can have. So if you do not plan to KYC with Binance, then you better get it out of there and move to another exchange real fast, like FX Exchange or something like that. And if you want to find out, go to my uh, description. I got links to FX Exchange, Binance, and everything. Check it, check it, check. And some other news that's happening right now. Woo! Analyst warns of acute Q3 slowdown and Robinhood's Doge reliance uh, growth. So as you guys know, that a lot of the cryptocurrency uh, trades that are happening on Robinhood is coming from Doge. So an astounding, astounding 62% of Robinhood's crypto revenue in Q2 2021 came from Doge coin. So what they're saying is that this analyst is saying that if Doge, the you know if the Doge trade and Doge starts to come down the popularity, that this could affect their earnings. But you know, one thing that I got to tell you, one reason why Robin Hood doesn't want to open up the wallets to the public, particularly the Dogecoin wallets, is because they're scared. They're running scared, guys, because they're worried that if they open it up, you guys are going to take your Doge, your Doge Uoji, and you're going to move it off. Because remember, remember, Doge is a fork of Litecoin. And if you look at all the hardware wallets on planet Earth, Tracer Wallet, Ledger Wallet, all these wallets, they support Dogecoin. So Tracer Tracer Wallet supports Dogecoin. So I got all my Dogecoin in my hardware wallet. That's, you know, so the, I think Robinhood, they're, they're running scared because as soon as they turn on those wallets, a lot of people are still not happy about this AMZ short squeeze when they said, you can't trade. And that was just terrible, guys. And I, I know a lot of people still have a lot of bitter taste in their mouth over that. So, you know, I think Robin Hood, you need to start apologizing. You need to start making people feel comfortable. Otherwise, once you turn on those wallets, lickety split, transfer out of there, and you're going to see that the total uh, total market cap of that company is going to be going bent in the toilet because if all the Dogecoin holders and all the Bitcoin holders and the other crypto on that exchange move out of there, what can I say? Bye bye, Robin Hood. Bye bye, Robin Hood. See ya. See you later, alligator. Some other news that's happening. Coinbase is to, whoa, I hate, whoa, ads popping up, I got the pop-ups, I got the pop-ups, I'm popping, popping, I hate the pop-ups, don't, if you guys hate the pop-ups, I hate the pop-ups, so Coinbase to become the first public company to hold Ethereum, DeFi assets, and Bitcoin, so you guys all know that uh, yesterday, that today, uh, Coinbase, Brian Armstrong said that they're going to spend $500 million and buy some more crypto, but what's really important, it's not only just Bitcoin, they're also going to be buying 
Ethereum, proof of stake assets, DeFi tokens, and other currencies that, uh, that it offers on the exchange. And also to avoid any conflict of interest, they're going to be buying these exchanges to OTC. So our investments will continue developing over multi-year window using dollar cost averaging. They're telling you exactly how to trade, guys. Dollar cost average. Dollar cost average. Okay, all trades will be executed over the counter OTC and uh, away from our exchange to avoid any conflict of interest. That's smart because if they bought these coins on their old exchange, then you know the SEC would be like, What? Huh? So that's good for them. So this is just, you know, we've got Wells Fargo, we've got Coinbase, we've got JP, JP Morgan. And they're all telling you. What are they telling you? Read between the lines, guys. Can you not read between the lines? In the next 24 hours, it's going to be a huge, huge pump it up weekend. Doge, pump it up, guys. And we're seeing Coinbase, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan. And these are huge institutions saying yes to crypto, yes to Bitcoin. Yes, yes, yes. And that only means one thing. We are going to the moon, guys. Woo! And Dogecoin is going with us. Dogecoin is definitely going to be hitting $1 or $2 by the end of the year. I feel it. I can smell it. I can smell the rocket fuel, guys. Let's jump into market marks. Woo! The market mark. Let me give this a little bit of refresh. You wish? Refresh. Internet slow, guys. I miss my barber. I need a haircut. Look at OG needs a haircut. All right. So the market cap right now is at 2.06 trillion. Woo! And the volume is at 77 billion. But that's going to pick up. That is going to pick up. But guys, the big news, the huge news, the, um, the crazy infamous news is look, guys. Look, 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 look. Can you see the Bitcoin dominance has fallen below 43% for the first time since May. Nobody's talking about it except the OG in the house. This is huge, guys. Huge, huge, huge. Because that says only one thing. That the old coin season is coming. It's going to be foamier. It's going to be frothy. It's going to take us to the moon. And millionaires are going to be made overnight. This is not financial advice. This is OG expressing his opinion. Let's jump into, let's jump into the markets. Woo, the markets. Let me give this a refresh. Minty refresh because I want to make sure that you guys know that I'm not photoshopping this. This is real. This is real. This is happening right in front of you right now. Wow, Bitcoin is at $46,951. That's up 5%, guys. And Ethereum is up $3,211. That's up 7.25%. Cardano on fire. Absolutely on fire. It's up 19.30%. Wow, 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 wow. My portfolio is looking fantastic, oh. and that's up. That's at two dollars and forty-nine cents. And uh, impressive, impressive, one hundred and fourteen percent in thirty days, guys. Can you imagine? Woo! Also, B and B is coming back, fighting back. B and B is fighting back, even with all this KYC that's going on. You think that the price would be going down? No, it's still going up. So, let's see. So right now, uh, B and B is at four hundred twenty-seven dollars, and that's up four point three two percent. And my doge, I'm not talking about XRP. I don't like XRP. I keep it clear. I keep it straight. I'm telling you, I don't like it. Because a lot of people say, oh, gee, why are you always keeping XRP? I don't like it because too many people hold it in, uh, in, you know, too many people hold it and control it. And also, they're, they're, they're involved in this SEC thing, so I don't know. So, and the doge in the house is at 31 cents, almost 32 cents, and we're up 6.2%. And we're up 65.2%. 9% or 65.30% in 30 days. Mind blowing. What are you complaining about? Why are you crying? Why are all the weak Nazis wetting the bed? And guys and gals, the weak Nazis out there, please stop feeding the whales. Stop wetting the bed. Weak Nazis, buckle up, diamond hands, and stop it. Because you know we're going to the moon, guys. And we're going to get there. You know we're going to get there. Woo! And let's take a look at the Crypto Daily Trade Signals portfolio in the house. Let's give this a quick refresh, refresh. Remember, this portfolio is for educational purposes only. If you decide to copy this portfolio, you do that solely at your own risk. We're not responsible for any losses incurred if you follow this portfolio. You've been disclaimed. So right now, the uh, Crypto Daily Trade Signal portfolio is at 40, it's up 47%, 47%. Where can you get 47% return? And we started this portfolio uh, just over a month ago. And we started this July 2nd. We did it in a live stream. We did it together, and uh, it's fantastical. And right now, we've uh, in 24 hours, we're we've, we're up almost 600 bucks. That's 8.75 percent. It's amazing, guys. So you can see the trend. Zoom out. The trend is your friend. We're trendy Wendy, trendy Wendy. Take a look, guys. And you see, if you just if you just stay with me when we made this portfolio to now, 
you'd be up 47%. Why are you not doing that? Because I had one guy in the live stream today that, you know, he didn't listen and he is crying, crying a river. But we still love you, brother. We still love you. We still support you. And right now, the total portfolio value is $7,377. We're going to see $10,000 in this portfolio soon, guys. We're growing. We're going to the moon. And Doge is going with us. Woo! All right, guys. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to uh, do me a favor. Follow me on Twitter. Do it now. Smash the likes. Smash the likes. Subscribe, YB, YB. And guys, check out my links. Go to the bottom of every single one of my videos. Do it now. Check out the links. Go to Zen Music Attic. If you want to find your soul, find yourself, relax, chill, find your inner little child, and find the inner child, then you need to go here right now. Watch these videos. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. And all the week, Nancy's out there. You need to go to Zen Music Attic. Stop blowing your load. Go there. Relax. Take out take your emotion and relax. Remember, never trade on emotion, guys. Take the emotion out of trading. This is investment. We're not trading. All right, guys. Support the channel. Go to Patreon. Woo! And buy the channel on coffee. If you're in an area that doesn't support Super Chats, buy the channel on coffee. Support the channel. Help the OG and because we're giving all this way to charity. Remember, I, the OG works for you. We do this for you. We love it. You love it. Woo! And guys, check out the NFT collection. If you don't know what NFTs are, go to the description. Click the link. Go there. You'll understand what they are. And you know what's coming next. You gotta go check out the merch. Check out the merch. We got hats. We got t-shirts. We got hoodies. We got the infamous, the famous, the one, the only, the muggity muggity mug. And it comes in a whole bunch of colors, guys. You gotta get the mug the mug. I love the mug the mug. Coffee tastes better in the mug the mug. And as soon as I finish this video, I'm gonna get a coffee in my mug the mug. So I just wanna say one thing. I'm the OG. I'm the Ric Flair of crypto. Woo! Coming to you live. I love you guys. And this channel is about one thing and one thing only. Spreading the good vibe. Spreading the love. And I want everyone to spread the love and have fun doing it. Live your life like it's your last. Live every second like it's your last. Spread the good vibe. Spread a good word. God bless you. Go with God. Walk with God. Hug your wife. Hug your kids. Kids. Be good to your neighbor. Even be good to your neighbor's dog. And guys, be neighborly. Woo! I'll see you in the next one. Doge coin. Pump it up. That's what's happening in the next 24 hours. Doge is going to pump it up. Pump it up, we can pump it up. Woo!